Hi there, welcome to my channel. So, you want an easy way of organizing and collecting your daily bell work, and you want it accessible in your virtual classroom. Worry no more. In this video tutorial, I will teach you how to utilize a calendar organizer and Google Forms for your daily bell work. Stay with me until the end of this video tutorial to learn about the different features of Google Forms and different ways of hyperlinking your Google Forms to your Bellwork Calendar Organizer. But before we begin, and if you are new here, please click the like and subscribe button and leave me your comments below. To begin, we will have to create our Bellwork Calendar Organizer from a new Google slide. Then, we will have to insert a new background. After inserting a new background, we will insert labels using text box. Now we can start creating our daily boxes. To create our daily boxes, we will insert a new shape. After inserting a shape that will represent our box, we will have to change the color and the border of our box. Then we will continue adding text boxes. I will group the elements of these text box. Then I will make several copies of this text box. We are now ready to organize the dates and the topics in our Bellwork calendar. Please be aware that the biology topics I have indi indicated in the calendar is in no way the most accurate way of organizing biology topics. To begin, we will go to our Google Drive and create a folder for our bell work. Now that our calendar is ready, we can start creating our bell work and linking them into our calendar. Now let's go ahead and create a bell work using Google Form. Open the folder, then on the upper left hand corner, click on New, over towards More, and click on Google Form. Before labeling your Google Form and creating your quiz, click the gear icon on the upper right hand corner to set your prepared aspect of your bell work. So, what are the different options that you can have? On the General tab, you can limit the response to one. You can allow your students to edit after they submit. You can allow students to see summary charts and text responses. If you click on the presentation tab, you can actually see the progress of your students. You can shuffle questions order. And you can also show link to submit another response. And you can even have a confirmation message. On the quizzes tab, you can make this as a quiz and assign points to questions and allow for auto grading. So I will go ahead and limit the response to one. Save. Then the next thing to do is to title our bell work. I'm going to call this bell work number eight. I'm going to click on the upper left hand corner to copy the title. Then I can start working on my bell work. Clicking on this drop down menu will allow you to select the type of Bellwork quiz that you want to give to your students. For this example, I will be making a short answer Bellwork. Then I'm going to start typing my question. For this Bellwork, I would like for my students to look at two sets of animal tracks, so I will need to insert an image. Then I will add another question. I will also need to insert 
an image for this second question. Like what I did for the first question, I will need to set the second question as a question that requires response. Let's preview our bell work. This is how the bell work will look like on our students' end. Now that I'm done with my bell work, I can go ahead and link this to my bell work calendar. To get a link, I will need to click on send. This icon right here and copy the link. I can also shorten the link before copying. Then we can go back to our virtual classroom and link this bell work to our calendar. To link our bell work question in our calendar, I'm gonna need to highlight the text, click on insert, link, and paste the link. Click on apply. You probably noticed that the color of the text have changed. We can put it back by highlighting the text Click the text color, change it back to black, and remove the underline. Also, be aware that you can add an element of surprise to your Bellware calendar by using QR code instead of just simple text. Or, to make it more exciting, use images. Of course, you don't want your students to access all of these Bellwork and just restrict them to the current day Bellwork. So what you can do is to create a transparent box cover that you can place in front of the bellwork that are restricted. To learn how to create those transparent box, check my other video about restricting sharing options. The last thing that we have to do is to link this slide to our homepage. So I think that's it for now. I will see you 